Chapter 134. Help me buy a new computer. Kkofi.com slash David Lord. Indeed, with Mr. Lin's talent and ability, Kanglan Star is ultimately too small for you. It's just a medium-sized life planet, but my Shangwen group has a rank 6 evolver station there. That is the real stage suitable for Mr. Lin Yuan. The blonde middle-aged man continued with a smile. Moreover, Lord Shangwen highly values Mr. Lin and might even offer some guidance in the future. But Lord Shangwen is the rank 6 evolver behind Shangwen group. Guidance from a rank 6 evolver is a great opportunity for most evolvers. A rank 6 evolver has the power of destroying stars. The perspective from such a height, even casual advice, could lead to enlightenment for rank 4 and rank 5 evolvers. The blonde middle-aged man believed it would be difficult for Lin Yuan to ignore this condition. Lin Yuan's qualifications are indeed good, entering rank 4 before the age of 100 with a high probability of becoming a rank 5 evolver in the future. But that's all. To advance further and break through to rank 6, the hopes are still slim. Therefore, guidance from a rank 6 evolver should not be missed. Sorry, I'm not interested in joining other forces, Lin Yuan shook his head. What a joke. According to the blonde middle-aged man, joining the Xiangwen group would require signing many contracts. Even requiring Lin Yuan to personally visit the Xiangwen group's headquarters for review. And those conditions offered by the blonde middle-aged man might be attractive to an ordinary rank 4 evolver, but for Lin Yuan? Moreover, Lin Yuan's true identity is the 13th peak master of the Red Kun lineage, almost equivalent to a prince of an empire, and one with real power at that. Joining the Shangwen group would be like fighting for other star domains in a competition. How absurd is that? Mr. Lin, won't you consider it at all? The blonde middle-aged man's face slightly changed. Although the Shangwen group is not located in the Red Kun star domain, it is ultimately a major force with a rank 6 evolver. Even if Lin Yuan has other options and won't join the Shangwen group, there's no need to be so direct. A more tactful response would have made everyone look better. I said, I'm not interested, and I won't consider it further. Lin Yuan shook his head. His main focus now is to step into rank 6 as soon as possible. Other matters unrelated to breakthroughs are trivial. All right. Lord Xiangwen would probably be very disappointed to hear this. The blonde middle-aged man's face looked somewhat ugly as he stood up to leave. What's the matter? Your Lord Xiangwen wouldn't come over to teach me a lesson, would he? Lin Yuan spoke with a sneer. In the human alliance, the laws are complete, and the stronger the evolver, the greater the restrictions. Even those high and mighty evolutionary scholars can't act recklessly, let alone a rank six? If Lord Shangwen dares to come to Kanglan Star, showing intent against Lin Yuan, Lin Yuan would report to the Goddess of Wisdom. Mama Goddess? Can't beat you? Can't I still report you? Of course, Lin Yuan thinks it's unlikely that Lord Shangwen would come over. He might not even know about Lin Yuan. I hope Mr. Hack Lin's evolutionary path will always be smooth, the blonde middle-aged man said with a grim face. Meaning, Lin Yuan should not seek help from the Shangwen group in the future. Get out. Lin Yuan directly kicked the blonde middle-aged man out of his personal room. How bold. Once Lin Yuan steps into rank 6, he can openly reveal his identity as the 13th peak master of the Red Kun lineage. By then, forces at the level of the Xiangwen group would be too eager to curry favor with Lin Yuan. Personal space. Lin Yuan sat alone on a wooden chair. Tournament. Lin Yuan pondered. The tournament is one of the hottest and most attention-grabbing activities of the Human Civilization Alliance, and being hot and in the spotlight means huge traffic. This gives rise to a series of industries involving huge amounts of money. Why do groups like the Shangwen Group or other financial conglomerates specifically cultivate teams to participate in various tournaments? Is it really just for honor? Of course not. As long as evolvers can achieve a certain rank in the tournament, such as top 100 or top 10, they will attract a lot of attention. At that time, just running an advertisement or printing a group's logo on clothing can bring immense popularity. And advertising is just the most common way to monetize. Each tournament also has betting set up in advance. Before the match, you choose a player you think will win, and if the result is as expected, you will win a certain amount of money at odds. Of course, to ensure fairness. 
under the detection of the goddess of wisdom, the possibility of fixed matches is almost eliminated. That's why major forces and conglomerates are very keen on finding potential evolvers from inconspicuous medium-sized life planets, then supporting them to participate in tournaments. These evolvers from medium-sized life planets with low exposure and no systematic training, if they receive support from major forces, their strength can significantly improve in a short time. By the time the Star Domain level tournament starts, they will enter as Dark Horses. After all, in the eyes of most citizens, a player who has already gained some fame and completed 10 consecutive victories, 20 consecutive victories, facing an unknown opponent. Most citizens would definitely bet on the former to win. Apart from the above two methods, the tournament has many ways to make money. The most enduring is to build a fan base. In the current Human Alliance, the top star-falling evolvers, rank 6, have countless fans, many of whom are second-generation members of major forces. Every move they make has an astonishing impact. So, in the eyes of those conglomerates, I already qualify as a dark horse? Lin Yuan touched his chin and shook his head slightly. In fact, this is indeed the case. In the last tournament, even if Lin Yuan only showed part of his strength, that was still rank 4. A rank 4 evolver under a hundred years old might be somewhat common on those prosperous higher life planets. But on a medium-sized life planet like Kanglan Star, it's almost impossible to find one in tens of thousands of years, let alone hundreds of thousands of years. The education, cultivation, and resources of a medium-sized life planet are far inferior to those of higher life planets. In such an environment, to step into rank 4, whether it's through an adventure or luck, is not much weaker than those top evolutionary geniuses from higher life planets. That's why Lin Yuan was valued by the Xiang Wen group, who specifically sent someone to invite him. The goddess of wisdom allows such things to happen because the invitations from major forces and conglomerates may restrict evolutionary geniuses, but they also cultivate these evolvers. And subject to the laws of human civilization, the contracts signed between these conglomerates and evolutionary geniuses are not too excessive. Even in the case of breach of contract, the penalty is not astronomical. Lin Yuan thought to himself, there are gains and losses. This is the unwritten rule tacitly agreed upon by the human alliance. Wanting to take advantage of one's genius status, disregarding contractual obligations, the three goddesses would not support such behavior. My current soul compatibility Lin Yuan's consciousness returned to reality, carefully sensing. About 15% complete. At this rate, in at most two years, I should reach perfect compatibility and officially step into rank 6. Lin Yuan's face showed a smile. Rank 6 has a special meaning for any evolver. Below rank 6, no matter how strong a life form is, it's just a terrestrial life, dependent on the environment within a planet to survive. It's by Google equals windowed ads by Google push. Once leaving the planet, coming into space, it's difficult to continue living. But at rank 6, one sow and roam the starry sea, and all rank 6 evolvers are called space life forms. Moreover, rank 6 is a stage of qualitative change in strength. Why does Lin Yuan only need to cultivate to rank 6 to openly reveal his identity as the 13th peak master of the Red Kun lineage? Because a rank 6 evolver is hard to assassinate, at least their means of preserving life far exceed those of rank 5. Generally, unless absolutely necessary, alien races would not assassinate a rank 6 evolver, as the cost is too great, equivalent to the cost of cultivating dozens of rank 7 strong beings, and it's still not guaranteed to kill that rank 6 evolver. The speed of soul compatibility transformation is not stable. It might be fast at the beginning and slow down later, or slow at the beginning and speed up later. My current compatibility transformation is still normal, Lin Yuan continued to observe. However, as long as the soul compatibility has not reached one-tenth, it can be terminated, choosing another evolutionary path for compatibility. After stepping into rank 6, the cost of changing the evolutionary path will skyrocket, but Lin Yuan, strictly speaking, has not yet stepped into rank 6 and is still rank 5. The many evolutionary paths I currently master, the most powerful is undoubtedly the mysterious yellow evolutionary path. If I use this path as the direction for soul transformation, 
Lin Yuan pondered for a moment, then immediately abandoned this idea. Even if the mysterious yellow evolutionary path is powerful, it's not created by Lin Yuan. Using this path as the fundamental evolutionary path, in the short term, the benefits might be great. But in the long run, it might not be beneficial. Lin Yuan is still more confident in the Marshall Dao evolutionary path. The mysterious yellow evolutionary path can be studied and practiced alongside, but it definitely cannot be the foundation. Other evolutionary paths are the same, including the mysterious yellow evolutionary path, which can only serve as nourishment to perfect the Marshall Dao evolutionary path. Let's continue to perfect the Marshall Dao evolutionary path. Lin Yuan's consciousness continued to delve into the Marshall Dao evolutionary path. In Lin Yuan's latest conception, the Marshall Dao evolutionary path no longer has separate sections for yin, yang, and yin yang. Various attribute powers can be incorporated into the Marshall Dao evolutionary system. Evolver's expertise in any attribute can enter the Marshall Dao for cultivation. The Marshall Dao should not be so small, but infinitely large. Lin Yuan found that when perfecting the Marshall Dao evolutionary path in this direction, the speed of soul compatibility transformation would gain a certain degree of improvement. Next, Lin Yuan continued to perfect the Marshall Dao evolutionary system while observing the Crimson Stone sent by the Red Kun Star Lord. In his spare time, he would reject invitations from financial conglomerates and forces from various star domains. Apart from the Xiangwen group, Noticing Lin Yuan's potential to become a dark horse, other forces naturally noticed as well. In the interstellar era, even slightly powerful forces have their own think tanks, constantly planning actions based on information from human civilization and even other alien races to best suit their own interests. Lin Yuan, a rank four under a hundred years old from a medium-sized life planet with great potential and yet not costly, is naturally very welcome. At first, Lin Yuan still made time to meet them, clearly expressing his attitude, but in the end, the frequency was too high. Lin Yuan simply stopped meeting them, letting the AI assistant handle it. If I had said that I had passed the Seven Stars Cave trial from the beginning, Lin Yuan shook his head slightly. If he had just passed the trial like Fang Qing, becoming an official member of the Red Kun lineage, these forces would not invite him like this. After all, as an official member of the Red Kun lineage, how could there be any reason to work for other forces? The Red Kun lineage is the strongest force. But in doing so, Lin Yuan would need to travel to the Red Kun main star with those who passed the trial like Fang Qing. This is the normal process for joining the Red Kun lineage in each session. Lin Yuan being able to stay on Glun Star all this time is entirely because he is the 13th Peak Master, enjoying many privileges. Even the gift from the Red Kun Star Lord had to be specially delivered by the Shuntong group at a cost of a hundred billion civilization coins. That day, Lin Yuan had just finished his cultivation. The voice of the AI assistant came over. Master, the person visiting this time comes from the Black Prison family, the 318 21st son of Black Prison Mo, a trusted follower under Black Prison Ao. The Black Prison family? Lin Yuan's brows slightly furrowed. The Black Prison family is a force in the Red Kun star domain, ranking in the top five among many forces outside the Red Kun lineage. The strongest in the Black Prison family, Black Prison Mo, is a being beyond rank six. The Black Prison family. Lin Yuan pondered for a while. Let's meet. Lin Yuan could ignore the invitations from other financial conglomerates, firstly because most of them are rank six forces, and Lin Yuan, becoming a rank six evolver, was just a matter of time. Secondly, most of the forces inviting Lin Yuan are from outside the Red Kun Star domain. No need to be too close. But the Black Prison family is different. As a local force in the Red Kun Star domain, when Lin Yuan steps into rank six and openly reveals his identity, he might need to interact with them. Whoosh! Lin Yuan's consciousness connected to the virtual world, personal space. Lin Yuan agreed to her. A noble-looking elderly man in a black suit appeared before him. Bei Zhao, on behalf of my young master, Black Prison Ao, greets Mr. Lin Yuan. The elderly man in a black suit, Bei Zhao, was very humble and slightly respectful. He then stated the conditions for inviting Lin Yuan to join under Black Prison Ao. I'm not particularly interested in the tournament for the time being, sorry. 
Lin Yuan tried to soften his tone. I see. The elderly man in a black suit, Bei Zhao, showed no change in expression. After standing up to leave, he disappeared on the spot. Quite reasonable? Lin Yuan nodded slightly. The people sent by those forces to invite him, after being rejected, most would make some threats or hints. Inside a magnificent palace. Black prison, Ao sat on the throne, deep in thought. At this moment, the figure of the elderly man in a black suit, Bei Zhao, appeared. Which contract level did that Lin Yuan choose? Black Prison Ao said casually. Before sending Bei Zhao to invite Lin Yuan, Black Prison Ao had set up five levels of contracts. The higher the contract level, the more support for Lin Yuan. But the restrictions would also be greater. Lin Yuan could choose any contract level. Young Master. The elderly man in a black suit, Bei Zhao, bowed slightly. Lin Yuan declined the young master's invitation. The elderly man in a black suit said in a low voice, Declined my invitation? On the throne, Black Prison Ao was slightly stunned. Ads by Google's window ads by Google. Push. He looked down at the elderly man in a black suit. Bei Zhao, I need 15 chapters ahead on Patreon. Patreon.com slash David Lord Discord. Server Discord disc gigi slash HPX Hayfefe. Chapter 135. Help me buy a new computer. Last kofi.com slash David Lord. Young Master. I have already stated all the conditions. But Lin Yuan still refuses. He says he's not interested in the arena match, said the old man in a black suit. Is that so? Black prison. Ao stood up from the throne, his brow slightly furrowed. He considered himself extremely benevolent, offering favorable terms in the five-tier contract he presented. Especially in the lowest tier contract, where Lin Yuan would only need to serve under him, Black Prison Ao, for a hundred years to receive numerous resources for cultivation. For fourth and fifth rank evolvers, a hundred years was not considered long, especially serving under him, Black Prison Ao. This was a fortune ordinary evolvers couldn't even dream of, yet Lin Yuan had refused. This was a result Black Prison Ao hadn't anticipated at all. He, Black Prison Ao, was a sixth-rank existence, a direct descendant of Black Prison Mo. Countless evolvers sought to join him voluntarily, but Black Prison Ao didn't see any of them worthy. Now, finally finding Lin Yuan promising, only to have him reject the offer? What's going on? Has the reputation of my Black Prison family fallen to such a level? Black Prison Ao was somewhat distressed. Kanglan Star, Central Continent Manor. Lin Yuan walked out of the underground training ground and called the captain of the guard, Ho Ming. Mr. Lin. The sixth rank evolver, Ho Ming, respectfully greeted. I want to inquire about something. Lin Yuan sat in a chair, lightly tapping the armrest with his right hand. The invitation to join under that black prison Ao, which was refused and led to his immediate departure, intrigued Lin Yuan. Do you know about the black prison family? Lin Yuan asked Hao Ming. The black prison family. Hao Ming paused for a moment then nodded, saying, I know, it's one of the five major powers in the Red Kun Star Domain. It was undeniable that the most powerful force in the Red Kun Star Domain was the Red Kun Lineage, and below the Red Kun Lineage were the five major powers, one of which was the Black Prison Family. Initially, shortly after the Star Lord took control of the Star Domain, Black Prison Mo with his family moved across several Star Domains to settle in the Red Kun Star Domain. The Star Lord thought highly of Black Prison Mo's resilience and entrusted some of the Star Domain's trade to the Black Prison family, which eventually became one of the five major powers. Hao Ming explained quickly. Although he was secretly cultivated by the Red Kun lineage, he wasn't entirely ignorant of the outside world. Plus, having lived long enough, he knew some information that was no longer widely circulated. I see. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. He understood. In summary, that Black Prison Mo was a lackey of his teacher. And have you heard of Black Prison Ao? Lin Yuan continued. If he remembered correctly, it was Black Prison Ao who had invited him to join. Black Prison Ao? Hao Ming pondered for a moment and replied, Isn't he the youngest son of Black Prison Mo? Black Prison Mo had thousands of offspring, and unless an evolver had exceptional memory, they couldn't remember so many names. Especially with the similar pronunciations of the names within the Black Prison family, it was easy for outsiders to get confused. That's right. Just now, he invited me to join his team and participate in the arena match, but I refused, Lin Yuan said, shaking his head. That Black Prison Ao, 
How dare he? Hao Ming marveled. Lin Yuan was one of the thirteen peak masters of the Red Kun lineage. Even Black Prison Mo, the anchor of the Black Prison family, would show respect when meeting Lin Yuan. I guess Mr. Lin's performance in the arena match caught the attention of Black Prison Ao, so he took the initiative to invite you, Hao Ming speculated after some thought. The Black Prison family is powerful, but competition within it is also fierce. Black Prison Ao, as the youngest son of Black Prison Mo, was born thousands or even tens of thousands of years later than his brothers. Even with the support of the family, it's difficult for him to catch up with his brothers. That's why he's focusing on the arena match. As long as he supports a dark horse to enter the top hundred of the star level arena match, Black Prison Ao will surely earn a huge fortune. By then, his position in the Black Prison family will also rise. If he gains the favor of Black Prison Mo and inherits the position of family head in the future, it's not impossible. Hao Ming spoke softly. I see. Lin Yuan nodded slightly. These big families and powers might seem glamorous on the surface, but internally, conflicts were extremely severe, sometimes to the extent that failure meant death. Unless Black Prison Ao completely withdrew and didn't care about power or wealth, he would have to compete with his thousands of brothers. In fact, it's not just the Black Prison family. The Red Kun lineage also faces fierce competition, with many standards set among its formal and core members. Can't meet the standards? Then step aside and let those who can meet them take over. The reason Lin Yuan doesn't feel strongly about this is entirely because he started at the level of Peak Master, standing directly at the top of the Red Kun lineage. Most of the Red Kun lineage's inheritance resources are open to Lin Yuan, and Lin Yuan's task is not to compete with other disciples, but to continue practicing. Of course, Lin Yuan's treatment was also obtained through competition, with over a million evolvers competing in the Seven Star Cave world. Although Lin Yuan's starting point was not low, it was not the highest either. There were still three crimson marks above him. But in the end, Lin Yuan became the 13th peak master. Oh, right. That black prison Ao, his reputation in the outside world isn't very good. He stops at nothing to achieve his goals. Mr. Lin has refused his invitation and he probably won't give up so easily. If black prison Ao goes too far, Mr. Lin can have other peak masters intervene. Even black prison Mo wouldn't dare to disobey the orders of the peak masters. Hao Ming reminded quietly. In front of the red Kun lineage, the Black Prison family is submissive and deferential. This is not to say that the Black Prison family is weak, but rather that the Red Kun lineage is too strong, and the Black Prison family can only behave this way. But if it weren't for the Red Kun lineage, the Black Prison family would be the overlord of a star domain. The other four major forces among the five major forces would not want to offend the Black Prison family unless absolutely necessary. Understood. Lin Yuan nodded. But, if it's not the last step, Lin Yuan wouldn't ask his senior brothers to intervene. At the level of the Black Prison family and the Red Kun lineage's peak masters, every move is being watched by countless eyes. Lin Yuan hides his true identity and cultivates on Kanglan's star. If he gets involved in the vortex of the peak masters and the Black Prison family, he might be speculated upon by certain existences. Among the myriad paths of evolution in the main world, there is a category called divination evolution paths. These evolution paths can deduce a conclusion based on known information. Just as the 13th peak master of the Red Kun lineage emerged, countless forces outside were speculating about the true identity of this 13th peak master. And at this time, if a peak master intervenes and suppresses the Black Prison family, this is a very clear signal to those evolvers who are proficient in divination evolution paths. Even if the senior brothers act very covertly, if Black Prison Ao inexplicably retreats in the end, it will still leave traces. Of course, evolvers proficient in divination evolution paths generally have poor combat abilities and mostly serve in the think tanks of some major forces. Why did Lin Yuan refuse me in the end? Is it because my off or wasn't good enough? On the throne, Black Prison Ao continued to ponder. During this time, while recruiting other evolvers, he couldn't stop thinking about Lin Yuan. He couldn't help but recall the time when he left the family and ventured outside. 
His father, Black Prison Mo, once gave him two choices. The first choice was to take away a hundred trillion civilization coins from the family treasury. Afterward, the Black Prison family would not provide him much support. If he wanted to return to the family and run for the position of family head, he would have to use these hundred trillion civilization coins to earn one trillion universe coins. The conversion ratio between civilization coins and universe coins was 10,000 to 1. In other words, Black Prison Ao had to earn a wealth a hundred times greater than the hundred trillion civilization coins in order to qualify to return to the family. The second choice was to have the family's think tank design a complete commercial blueprint for him. As long as Black Prison Ao earned a hundred trillion civilization coins in the end, he could also return to the family and run for the position of family head. Black Prison Ao ultimately chose the second option. And in the commercial blueprint planned by the Black Prison family's think tank for him, the foundation was the arena match. The commercial blueprint was very detailed, and the think tanks of the Black Prison family spared no effort in selecting 223 evolvers under 100 years old. These 223 evolvers all had potentials that ordinary people didn't notice. As long as Black Prison Ao signed these 223 evolvers and trained them to participate in the upcoming arena matches, there was a high probability they would shine. And among these 223 evolvers, Lin Yuan was among them. Lin Yuan. Black Prison Ao recalled the evaluation of Lin Yuan by the think tank. Just over 20 years old, he has reached the fourth rank, and with training and cultivation in the late fourth rank, he is expected to reach the pinnacle of the fourth rank before the next arena match. He has a chance to reach the fifth rank before he turns a hundred. With fifth rank strength, participating in the star level arena match, it's easy for him to break into the top thousand. I, Black Prison Ao, must obtain this Lin Yuan. Black Prison Ao looked down at his subordinates and said, I've heard that geniuses are usually proud. You go and invite him, but if rejected, would I succeed if I personally invite him? Young master, the elderly man in black formal attire, Beijiao, was slightly stunned. I'm not sure either, but if the young master personally invites him, Lin Yuan will probably be very moved. With Black Prison Ao's identity, personally inviting an evolver without background or influence would indeed be touching. After all, a personal invitation implies value and face, virtual world, especially open small world. The twelve peak masters of the Red Kun lineage were all gathered here. At that moment, a figure appeared. It was Lin Yuan. Senior brothers, I apologize for delaying my practice and not paying attention to the time. Lin Yuan apologized immediately with a tone of regret. Since becoming the thirteenth peak master of the Red Kun lineage, in order to maintain the relationship between the Peak Masters, the eldest senior brother took the initiative to lead and invited other Peak Masters to gather from time to time. Since it was convenient to meet in the virtual world, just connecting consciousness was enough, and everyone generally arrived on time. Ha ha! Our junior brother here is quite remarkable. He's not even a hundred years old yet, and he's already at the fifth rank. I estimate it's only a matter of time before he reaches the sixth rank. The eldest senior brother laughed heartily. Lin Yuan's advancement to the fifth rank was not a secret. The Red Kun Star Lord knew, as did the twelve C, Nyor brothers. Our junior brother doesn't have any special physique or bloodline, yet he managed to break through to the fifth rank before a hundred years old. That's indeed rare. The second senior brother nodded approvingly. In the Human Cosmic Alliance, there were indeed many unbelievable geniuses, not to mention reaching the fifth rank before a hundred years old, even reaching the sixth rank before a hundred years old had happened. But these geniuses all had many special physiques and bloodlines. Some were born at the third or fourth rank, so there was no need for comparison. But Lin Yuan was different. Although the twelve peak masters had never seen Lin Yuan in person, they had heard from the Red Kun Star Lord that Lin Yuan's physique and bloodline were nothing special. Given the speed at which our junior brother cultivates, it's likely that within a few decades he'll attempt to break through to the sixth rank. Before breaking through to the sixth rank, our junior brother must be cautious, 
choose the fundamental evolution path that suits him best, the more suitable it is for himself, the higher the soul compatibility, and the faster the transformation. It might even be helpful for him to break through to the seventh rank in the future. The eldest senior brother reminded earnestly. As a seventh rank evolver now, he had deep insights into the paths he had taken before. It was now easy for him to see where he had gone wrong or deviated. Understood, Lin Yuan affirmed. From beginning to end, the eldest senior brother emphasized choosing the most suitable evolution path for oneself, one with high soul compatibility. It should be the most suitable, not the strongest. And among the countless evolution paths mastered by the human cosmic civilization, which evolution path was more suitable for Lin Yuan than the martial path evolution path? Ah, given our junior brother's cultivation speed, breaking through to the seventh rank is probably very likely. By then, I wonder if we should change the way we address him. The third senior brother glanced at the fourth senior brother and the other nine senior brothers. Ah, about that. The fourth senior brother blinked. If our junior brother can break through to the seventh rank, it would enhance the foundation of our Red Kun lineage. Even if I have to change my address, I'd be willing. Ha ha ha, old third, you shouldn't tease them. The second senior brother shook his head. For a sixth rank evolver to break through to the seventh rank, it required a specific opportunity. Even if Lin Yuan could break through to the sixth rank within a few decades, wanting to continue breaking through and reach the seventh rank was not an easy task. Many sixth rank peak evolvers were stuck at this bottleneck for thousands or even tens of thousands of years until they died of old age. After exchanging for an hour, the gathering ended. Lin Yuan disconnected from the virtual world and returned to reality. In the central continent manner, in the underground training ground. Let's see the results of this period. Lin Yuan carefully sensed the degree of transformation of his soul. 20%? A smile appeared on Lin Yuan's face. At this rate, it would probably take less than two years for his soul to reach complete compatibility. A little over a year would suffice. By then, he would step into the sixth rank and become a star-falling level powerhouse shaking the star domain. I need... 15 chapters ahead on Patreon. Patreon.com slash David Lord. Discord server slash discord.gg slash hpxstaffy.